What is up guys, I'm Hubsmash and welcome to Battleborn. I've been getting asked how to level up fast in Battleborn, so I wanted to make a quick video to explain what I've been able to figure out so far. Uh, keep in mind this could be wrong. This is just kind of what I've noticed after looking at my match history and kind of going through things. Um, there's two things that you're leveling in Battleborn. You're leveling your command rank and then your individual character rank. And so you can go in here and you can kind of see what rank your characters are at. Uh, so, for example, uh, Th I got Thorn at rank 3. Character ranks go up to 15, and your command rank goes up to 100. So there's a lot of leveling to do in the game, and there's benefits to leveling up your characters because it unlocks different Helix abilities. So you can see at rank 5, I've unlocked this additional Helix choice. Uh, this doesn't apply by default. I have to pick... Now I just have an extra option to pick. I can, I can choose Fiendish, Curse... Curse Weaver or Huntress when I get to level five. Uh, so there's reasons to level up your characters. Uh, so the fastest way to do it that I found is to go to versus public and you're going to want to select either incursion or meltdown. The, what I've noticed is incursion and meltdown maps, basically they take a little bit shorter time they, or they tend to take less time than the story missions and they offer similar rewards for your as, as far as XP goes so you end up spending you know 15 to 25 or 30 minutes on a map and you get similar rewards however if you spend only 15 minutes on an incursion map you can still get pretty much full rewards or very similar rewards that you would get in a 30 minute story mission so it's just a little bit more bang for your buck. I'm not saying you have to play that all the time. It's not a huge difference from what I can tell. Play whatever you want. Um, but if you truly want to optimize your leveling, what you want to do is take a look into your command uh, here and take a look at your career and your challenges. In your challenges, this gives you rewards. Like here's a big one. 500 command XP for slowing 250 enemies with accelerators. So that's pretty simple to do, right? You just upgrade some accelerators and you'll slow some enemies and that will uh, that will eventually level up and you'll get a bunch of command XP. So you want to pay attention to the very specific types of uh, challenges that are available to you and the, the progress that you're making in each of them and then make little side missions to your, for yourself in your matches to try and complete these. Uh, as you do that, you'll gain rewards. And if you want to take a look we're just going to take a look at, like, a match history. We'll just choose somebody. I think this was a loss for me. Um, yeah, it was 39 to 92, so we lost. Uh, but I still got 245 participation and 215 pickups and rewards. This pickups and rewards is rewards from challenges. So that means I got almost 400 or, yeah, 460 command XP and 54 character XP for a 30-minute match. That's pretty good. And, it, I mean, it could be better, but that's pretty good, considering I lost. And that was mainly due to those uh, rewards from the challenges. So it just goes to show you can pretty much double what the XP is that you've earned. Um, and there's not much of a limit to it. You can complete a lot of different challenges. I don't think there's a limit to how many challenges you can complete. So really, you just kind of go in there, complete the challenges, do what you want to do, play the modes you want to play, and you're going to level up. The benefit to leveling up your command rank is you'll unlock... Um, you'll unlock a bunch of characters and stuff like that through doing it. Now, each character also has challenges that you can do to unlock them. Like, for example, Benedict uh, reaching command rank 10 or win five matches as a Peacekeeper character. So if you want to play a specific character, you can figure out what their challenge is and then go and do that challenge to unlock them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider clicking that like button and subscribing for more Battleborn stuff. Thanks so much for watching and take care.